Hello and welcome to this Fitch Learning segment on calculating EBITDA. EBITDA stands for Earnings Before Interest, Taxes, Depreciation and Amortization. You may be surprised to learn there are two ways to calculate it. The European version starts with operating profit and then you add back depreciation and amortization. The US version starts with net profit after tax and then you add back tax, interest, depreciation and amortization. So as you can see, you could end up with two very different numbers. There is a huge amount of activity on a company's income statement between the operating profit and the net profit. There are derivatives, gains and losses. There is associate income or loss. There are other general non-operating income and losses as well. And they can be vast, both positive and negative. So be very, very careful when you calculate EBITDA or when you use it as a ratio metric. The other thing to bear in mind is it is not a generally accepted accounting principle. Generally accepted accounting principles drive the calculation, the prudence, and the consistency. So EBITDA does not have to be calculated on a prudent basis, and it need not be consistent. Companies can change the calculation from one year to the next without really telling you. So be extremely careful when you use EBITDA. Make sure in your contracts with clients that the calculation is very clear and be careful when you use it in covenant construction.